Okay, and residents in need, acronym grim. I, I was told there are a lot of acronyms here today, darn. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we have residents in need, have, we have um, been a community charity in Gahanna, servicing the Gahanna Jefferson School District since 1972. Started in a little closet, literally. Actually, we just got out of that closet. <laughs> but um, literally, we started in a little closet in one of the local churches, and then um, another church started the clothing pantry portion, and it's just been amazing. It's just been evolving. Um, in the last three years, I've seen the most growth. We created a board of nine. Um, I was hired last September. Um, and things just seem to be coming together. There's more need in the community that we're seeing, and the community is embracing us and challenging us to step up our services and to be able to meet the needs of the community, and that's what we're working on. Um, we just acquired, I love to see that address. <laughs> we just acquired this facility April 1st, was our first move-in date, so we're really excited. Um, we now have a lot of integrated services together, which I'll try to go through as quickly as I can. Um, we have the food pantry, which started in 1972. A clothing pantry, and I'll go into more detail with these in just a second. Financial assistance program for rent and utilities. Um, summer lunch club that we just integrated last year, it used to be called The Bridge in Gahanna. We have a holiday assistance program, which consists of giving out food boxes for Thanksgiving, and at Christmas we do adopt a family. And um, a school supply drive that has become really big for us, the schools actually put this in place, and we are trying to help them build that. And several others, and we'll go through that. Our pantry hours are changing. We have five food pantries. We have had five food pantries a month in the past and eight clothing pantries, but we're trying to change that and make, um, we would like to be a one-stop shop, a lot like uh, patterning after war, they're, they've been our mentor, the Western Red Area Resource Ministry. Um, we, our, our goal is to um, get the food and the clothing pantry on the same schedule so that they can come there and we can assess their needs and be able to, to adapt and help them with that. The, um, well, let me back up with the food pantry. We have, as you can see from the statistics, almost doubled our food that, uh, food boxes that we're giving out. So far, 2015 through April, we've given out 351, which as in 2013, we only gave out 652 the whole year. So it is doubling. We are getting uh, bus loads coming in from different communities that have been identified to us. It's, it's amazing. <coughs> And also included in the food pantry, um, a snack pack program that the schools have um, been doing and working on. Well, one particular school, an elementary school, but they found the need where kids were not eating when they go home um, on the weekends it was startling to the teachers. They would come back and tell them they were starved and they were eating the breakfast, and um, then they would have their lunch with them. The teachers were really nervous about what are they eating when they go home. So they started these backpacks. Um, and they were putting non-perishable foods for the kids for the weekend. It's not major things, but it's things that can be sustained, like beef sticks, peanut butter, things like that, that they know that they can eat going home. And we're trying to increase that into all the schools that started in one school. For the 2015-16 school year, we're going to be going to two schools, and then as the schools identify, we will just keep adding more schools. The clothing pantry, um, as you can see, we have a lot of or immigration happening in Guyana. Um, a lot of families living together, and um, the need for just the basic needs, period, food, clothing, shelter, um, we are trying to help with that in major ways. The clothing pantry, we are also doing a um, school clothes clothing drive, and because we became aware, you know, hey, if we get them started, maybe in school, then be able to supplement in Christmas, be able to supplement again in the, the spring, that we can keep a continuation of, of clothing need under control. Financial assistance, we are adapting a financial class that we are asking everyone to go through, which we haven't had the space, nor the computers, or the room to do. So we have that financial program completed, and we're going to require our recipients of the financial assistance that we give um, to go through this budgeting worksheet, 
kind of class. We, we, our goal is to help them be self-sufficient, not enable them. So if we can you know, get them out of the mindset that they're in and help them to make themselves self-sufficient, self that's what we are trying to do. The Summer Lunch Club um, used to be called The Bridge, and it offers lunches throughout the summer, Monday through Friday. And, um, but it is only lunch. Local churches, local businesses, they basically fund a week. And they say, hey, we're going to provide the food for this week during the summer. It's 11 weeks when school is out. Um, this wonderful young man, <laughs> his name is Alex, he actually did a bar mitzvah um, drive and also added last year to the summer lunch club 10,000 boxes of cereal because he was worried that the kids need a breakfast as well. Isn't that just amazing? The, the kids, it's just, it's happening on all levels in Guyana. I mean, it, the, the schools are really involved with Grin, and we are trying to um, set the mindset for the kids of giving and not just, you know, being so um, selfish themselves. Holiday assistance, we gave away, the Thanksgiving meals last year, we gave away 139 Thanksgiving food carts last year because we were trying to transition at that point. But usually we give away food boxes and we give them the option for a food card. And it's turkey and whole trimmings. I mean, it's everything that they need. Bread, butter, uh, perishable and non-perishables. And then we do Christmas adoptions in my picture for some reason. Did it make it through? I apologize for that. Um, Christmas adoptions, we do adopt a family and the families are identified through the school systems for us. Some churches, some businesses and we put a spreadsheet together, do an interview process to determine need, and then we are able to divide the adoptions out to whoever contacts us. We have a lot of very businesses, schools, city, um, churches that say, hey, we would like 10 families, we would like five families, individuals, we would like one family, that they um, connect with that family and, and provide them with extra Christmas help, meals, presents, things like that, that they wouldn't probably get if they didn't have the help. Oops. The school supply drive is something that ha has come into fruition this year. We, in the past, have done just kind of scattered school supply drives with the schools and tried to help them. This year, we have integrated with the schools. We are trying to provide 500 backpacks, totally full, of grade specific and um, age-specific uh, school supplies that they will need for the 2015-16 year. And the schools are giving us the lists and we're able to compile those, but that is our goal and we're working hard on that. The schools are actually involved in that, the city, the churches, and we're just really excited. And I just would like to thank you um, all for, I'm getting a little nervous, I don't know why. <laughs> I've done this a lot. Um, I just, I would like to thank you for our choosing grid. I mean, it's just amazing to us that we are, we have so many supporters, not only in Gahanna, but outside Gahanna, and it's just amazing. Um, a few of the other events, I do not want to leave them out. We do Easter spring baskets for the elderly, which has been, been determined as a need. Uh, that consists of gift cards. We give them gift cards for Easter. We go to where they are. And we do, we do send a kid to camp to the Gahanna camps in school, we send um, 15 kids a year. We do community gardens for fresh produce. We've recently been donated um, a cooler to be able to get fresh produce and the perishables, so we're so excited about that. Uh, the snack packs, uh, Choice for Tots, we combine that with our Christmas, and when they come for Thanksgiving to get their food box, we have a, an area club that donates or actually makes 10,000 hats and glove sets that we give out. <laughs> so we give this out in addition to the toys and the food boxes. Shredded Day, we were involved with that with the city. Um, basically, we are the gatekeepers <laughs> for, for Grin, and uh, we help them in that. And we do a lot of civic partic participation and food drives. Um, and it's just, Grin has grown so much in the last year. Last year alone, we served 892 families. And this year, I know it's going to be more because our numbers are already doubled from last year alone. So we're just really excited um, that the community has embraced us and they're giving us the, the uh, support to be the greatest capacity that we could be and to serve 